You're right, guys. It's Capgun Tom here, and welcome to the final of the Silver Striker tournament. Yes, this is the moment this entire tournament has been leading up to, and we have Eddie Johnson going up against Malapa. So it's going to be a really interesting contest to see who gets first place and who comes runner-up. Now, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go check out futcoinking.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap, and reliable coin service. Use code CAP5 at checkout for a discount. Now, let's dive in and have a look at these two players. First up, Eddie Johnson, 72 rating overall, 85 pace, 64 shooting, not 49 passing, 73 dribbling, 49 defending, and 60 or 82 heading. He's 6 foot, medium, medium work rates, 4 star skill, 4 star weak foot, flare traits, and power headed traits of what he has. Then Malapa, he's 72 rated overall as well, 84 pace, 67 shooting, 64 passing, 73 dribbling, 50 defending, and 71 heading. He's 6 foot 3, medium, medium work rates, 3 star skill, 3 star weak foot, and he has no traits other than the fact that he's a giant. So let's dive in and start building the team around these two players. It's a pretty interesting one, and you guys will have all seen it before. In fact, most of you suggested that I use this team for the final, and uh, if you know a YouTuber called Finch, whose uh, link I'll leave down in the description of this video then you'll know this team because it's his legend killer team so first off in the center attacking mid position we are going to be using Dempsey his Seattle Sounders card so he gets that strong link into Eddie Johnson so there you go there's our first player in the team then at right mid we're going to be using Herman the German he's actually a really good player I think he's kind of underrated he has 91 pace and he does a lot of really nice runs to get up the side of the pitch and get in behind the opponent's defense so a really good player there now the one change that I made to this entire squad was that I didn't want to use S wine now the reason I didn't want to use S wine is because I think S wine is more of an attacking player he likes to play in that sort of left forward position maybe left wing at a stretch but left mid I just think it's too far back for him so at left mid I'm actually going to be using Royce instead who I think is a fantastic player probably one of the best left mids on this game now we can move on to the center defensive mids first up we're going to be using Bender from Dortmund he's actually a really good defensive mid he's kind of underused just because of his pace but he's got a cracking shot on him and he really can do a lot of good work now in the other center defensive mid position we're going with American from the Bundesliga and it's going to be Jones you can see him here as I can find him he's all the way down the end because he's quite low rated but that doesn't mean that he's a bad player he's actually very very strong and there you can see he goes into the team with 81 pace and 79 defending stats he's got everything you need in a good centre defensive mid now in the central centre back position we're going to be using Hummels he goes into the team because he gets links into everyone in fact most of this team is just Bundesliga except for the uh, Eddie Johnson and Dempsey links and then we are going to be using uh, the likes of Boateng at the left centre back position I'm just using the normal one not the upgraded one because well I was cheap and I had this one in my club already and then the other position we're going to be using Felipe Santani he's actually a beast I haven't used him for a little while and oh my god using him has reminded me how good that guy is he is ridiculous anyway there you can see he goes into the team that Schalke card and then finally in goal I'm using Adler because he's cheap I thought you guys might want to see a sort of like cheap alternative to using Buffon Adler's definitely the best German goal goalkeeper in the Bundesliga apart from Neuer so there you go he goes into the squad as well so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and jump into the stats and the goals for these two players so we have Eddie Johnson on the left and Malapa on the right now it was a bit of a goal fest with these two players this team is very very strong and I can see why Finch used it for such a long period of time you can see that we scored 12 goals with the two players in total over the five games eight of them went to Malapa Four of them went to Eddie Johnson and you know the rating sort of reflects that as uh, Malapa managed to get an 8.8 .8 overall and Eddie Johnson only got an 8.2. Malapa also got two man of the matches whereas Eddie Johnson got zero. In terms of consistency you can see that Eddie Johnson scored in three of the five games. Malapa scored in four of the five games. However Eddie Johnson you know came strong in the overall stats for the shot accuracy, pass accuracy and dribble accuracy. He managed to win on all of those. However Malapa also got more assists than him. So guys it is totally Totally up to you who you want to win the Silver Striker Tournament for FIFA 14. You, all you have to do is go down into the description of this video. There'll be a link to an FUT head squad. Scroll to the bottom of that squad and there'll be two comments from me. One that says, vote Eddie Johnson. The other says, vote Malapa. Thumb up the one that you think deserves to win the entire tournament. You know, make sure you pick it on today's performances. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 likes for an epic series. Um, if you want to see any other sorts of series, Put suggestions down in the comment section, but other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there, and I will see you all next time.